Hello everyone, I'm Nimi FC and this is Blue Lines TV and today I'm bringing you another Sari update video and I'm going to be talking about other things such as Angelo is signing for Napoli, I'm going to be talking about Antonio Conte and what his future holds afterwards and to end this video I'm going to be talking about Mourinho and why it's his fault for a lot of things wrong with the club at this moment in time. You guys know what the deal is. Thank you to everyone that smashes the like button. I'm going to be ambitious today for this video. Help me get more than 1,000 likes. And also, you guys, before you continue watching this video, if you haven't seen yesterday's video, make sure you watch that. It's only about four minutes long. Make sure you watch that so you have all the full context as to what's happening at this moment in time. And I just want to remind you guys quickly, tonight at 10 p.m. UK time will be the subscriber call-in show. I have a few more emails to space for a few more people as well. If you want to come on the show and talk directly to me about anything on your mind, you've got the chance to do that today. Send me an email to ninifc at hotmail.com and obviously I'll send you the details to become part of the show. But anyway, starting with the first report of today, and that's in regards to that main man, Sorry. Now, I can tell you guys at 9 a.m. this morning, I was given some information surrounding Sari, and basically, I have been told that he will be signing for Chelsea, and it looks like he will be getting sacked by Napoli as well. Since then, I've just been working on getting more information for this video, and obviously working on the video and editing everything. I have been told that Sari will be getting sacked later today, and he is gonna be our new head coach. And I've been told to expect all the formalities to end probably in the next 48 hours. And here's what's most likely to happen. Before Napoli officially announce Ancelotti, Sari's departure will be announced first. Then second will be Ancelotti's announcement. Third, Chelsea will announce Antonio Conte's departure. And then fourth, Sari will be announced by the club. Yeah, of course, this is all common sense. This is how things work. Of course, before you can announce someone new, you have to announce the departure of someone first. But I was told, expect the first two points to happen roughly in the next 24 hours. And of course, some of you guys should know the media reports by now. If not, Sari will be getting a half a million compensation package from Napoli, obviously for his sacking. But wait, there is more information that I was told earlier this morning and some reports have been coming out in Italy surrounding this as well. So this is fact, this is legit. And that's the fact that uh, ADL, obviously De Laurentiis, he doesn't want to end this deal feeling like he hasn't got anything in return. He wants something back from us. He feels like he's been played. And basically, this means that he would like to have a player for a discounted price coming to Napoli as part of the agreement. And this is why things are a bit delayed at this moment in time. As I was saying earlier, some of the reports coming out from Italy are correct when it comes to this. I was told this in the morning. I read about this a few hours afterwards. And that's the fact that ADL would like to bring in David Luiz to Napoli. And he would like David Luiz on a discounted price, obviously taking into consideration that Sarri will be joining us for nothing. Now, the reason why they want David Luiz is because it looks like Koulibaly could potentially be leaving Napoli this summer. When he was interviewed earlier during the season, he spoke about the possibility that if Sarri did leave and the club's ambitions weren't there, he would probably think of leaving the club. But here's where you guys have to use your logic now. Think about it like this. Adia would like to bring in David Luiz, but does David Luiz necessarily want to leave all of his lifestyle in London to sign for Napoli? And you can see why this is the delay happening at this moment in time. Do Chelsea even want to let David Luiz go as part of the deal? I was told beforehand a few months ago that he would be getting a new contract during the summer, but you guys know the realities of football. A lot of things change on a day-to-day -day basis. Me personally, I like David Luiz to stay. But who knows? I don't know anything just yet. I'm just hypothesizing on this point only. And maybe Napoli might be interested in another Chelsea player. We do know that there's a ton of Chelsea players that will be leaving this summer. It makes sense to try and flog one or two of them to Napoli as part of the deal. But it looks like with Ancelotti's uh, appointment, Napoli mean business. You know, reports of Vidal being linked with them. Lino, Benzema, they definitely want that Scudetto for next season. Still, moving on to the Angelotti reports. Yes, he has agreed a two-year deal with Napoli. Things haven't been officially announced so far. I've already explained in the video as to why. Sari's sacking has to be announced first before they can officially announce anything. Yes, reports have come up that Zenit have come back again to try and uh, persuade Sari to sign for them. I gotta rate their persistence, but it's already come out that Sari has rejected them again. You guys know what the plan is. 
if you know what the plan is all along, I reported it on the video yesterday. Make sure you watch it if you don't know what I'm talking about. But it is looking very exciting in the next 48 hours. Now moving on to the next part of this video, and that's in regards to what's gonna happen with Antonio Conte now. Now this isn't exclusive news on my part. I have insinuated on this a while back, and that was basically the possibility that Antonio Conte could be on a sabbatical during the year. And think about it like this, it makes logical sense. We know that Antonio Conte was desperate for that Paris Saint-Germain job. This is why he had his representative speaking to Paris Saint-Germain officials the day before our second leg game against Barcelona. Antonio Conte wants to manage an elite club, a top club in Europe. He has those ambitions, he's a winner, he's won things before. He doesn't want to settle for anything less. And of course, if he isn't able to get a club of that stature, he might consider taking a sabbatical and taking a year out from football. Now, earlier, I think during the evening or earlier this morning, Matt Law basically reported on this as well. He did confirm one thing that was very interesting, and that was the fact that, of course, you know, when managers get sold and sacked, not only do they get sacked, but obviously their coaching department and teams get uh, sacked as well. But it looks like Antonio Conte's goalkeeping coach, Spinelli, will decide to stay at Chelsea regardless if Conte goes. But you guys, this is some exclusive stuff I can tell you, just a brief point, and that's the fact that I have been told that Antonio Conte is bluffing when it comes to wanting to take a sabbatical. Just to let you guys know, taking a sabbatical means taking an extended amount of time away from football. Normally that ends up being a year. The reason why it's a bluff is because Conte wants to keep managing. He doesn't want to be out from football for a year. I made the point earlier, this is why he had his representative speaking to Paris Saint-Germain officials the day before our game against Barcelona. Now you guys, here is how I see things playing out with Antonio Conte. Number one, Conte may be bitter and he may end up following through his ideas of taking a sabbatical. Of course, the repercussions of him doing this is the fact that Chelsea would have to pay his whole year contract, which amounts to being about £9.5 million. And on top of that, because he is going to be getting sacked, he would be entitled to another £2 million compensation package on top of that. So it would end up costing the club £11.5 million. And the second option, Conte does get sacked, but he ends up finding the club pretty quickly during the next season. Could be a possibility that there could be something at Milan or Inter, who knows? Maybe even Bayern Munich if Kovac doesn't do as well with them. It looks like a lot of Bayern players will be leaving Bayern Munich uh, during the summer and it looks like things might not be as rosy for them next season. If Conte was to do this and find a club before obviously his year contract ends, that means the club wouldn't have to pay the full £9.5 million. They only have to pay up to the point where he found a new club. And on top of that, regardless of anything, Conte still gets this extra 2 million compensation package. But before I end the video, I wanna give you guys some insight and context as to why we've become so frugal and as to why a lot of you guys feel very frustrated with the club, not just splashing money regardless. And all of these issues comes down to one man and that man is Jose Mourinho. He has set the club backwards. He costs an absolute fortune, especially when you take into account that six months prior was when he agreed a new four-year contract renewal, and then he was just sacked six months after that renewal and ended up costing a fortune. As I was saying, roughly up to 30 million pounds. Not only was it money that was missed out on, a lucrative commercial deal was missed out on as well because the main reason as to why this company wanted to partner with Chelsea in the first place was because Mourinho was the face of the club. When Mourinho was sacked, that was when the deal was terminated. And on top of that, poor transfer activity on Mourinho's part as well. For example, when the club were pursuing guys like Griezmann and Douglas Costa, Mourinho was the one that vouched for Quadrado and then you got to take into account money wasted on the transfer fee, uh, wages, uh, you know, agent fees as well. And then you send him out on loan, you're not even getting the full amount of money back for that deal. And there's so many examples as well. Players leaving on the cheap such as Salah and De Bruyne, especially when there were so many figures in the club talking about the fact that these guys need to get a chance and Mourinho should use them. Mourinho set the club back in a massive way and the club had to make drastic changes once he was gone. To me, it's no surprise why stability and a philosophy is the motto for the summer for next season. And you can see why the club have been skeptical and given into all of Conte's demands and why they've been much more frugal when it comes to negotiations. Chelsea's plan is to be self-sufficient and due to the amount of money the Mourinho sacking costs the club in total, it has made them much more wary when it comes to obviously 
paying money for anything. But anyway, you guys, that's gonna end today's video. Like I said, please like, comment, and subscribe. Help me get more than 1,000 likes for today's video. I'm gonna be having more videos dropping in the future. I'm gonna be having videos on Sari, plus any updates that happen later on today as well. And remember, tonight at 10 p.m. is gonna be the subscriber call-in show. If you wanna be part of the show, send me an email. If you don't send me an email, then you can't be part of the show. Anyway, you guys, thank you for watching. I'm Nini FC. This is Blue Lines TV, signing up.